Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris and today I have a bit of a different video on uh, this isn't gonna be one of my usual videos. This is basically be going to be me making a video for reference. Mm -hmm. This is basically going to be me making a video for reference and basically for help. Um, I am lucky enough to have a Steam Deck. Uh, it came this past Thursday and I kind of said to myself that the first game that I would play on Steam Deck would be Kingdom Hearts 3. And it has not actually been easy getting this game to work at all. Um, so this is what I am working with. So first, you can see I have Heroic Games Launcher installed on my Steam Deck. Um, I've used the Flatpak version of it. Um, so this is what I used to um, try and like reference um, how to install uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 on my deck. Um, one of the things that I noticed, if I can even see, I can't really see when this was made, but based on what it was referencing um, from um, some of the files and things that it's calling out, they, this is probably, I would say this is before Epic Games was, or before Steam Deck was out. Um, that said, I've, you know, there's one video showing Kingdom Hearts 3 working on the Steam Deck, um, and then that person referenced this uh, link to get it working. Um, and so what I'm trying to do here is get this working with my official versions that I have through Heroic Games or through Epic Games. Um, and I tried using the Heroic Games launcher. Um, so here's where I am getting stopped. Um, I think these are the prerequisites that they're saying. Um, I'm not using Lutris. Um, I could probably try and use that, but that's really way more complicated for me personally because I don't know how to do all of the like command lines and things like that to get it installed and set up and everything um, as well as not knowing what to actually download to get set up um, this is a big one Proton 5.13 slash 6 is what they're referencing um, for getting everything working um, and this is the most stable version of Proton is like 7 point, like 7.02 something. So it's a little bit more up to date, but that is not working with, uh, getting Kingdom Hearts 3 launching. Um, MF install, I've kind of figured out how to set this up and I th thought I set it up, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, um, if I have properly or not. Um... Wine tracks again, I don't really know how to install that. Um, I tried looking it up. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to install that or where I need to use it. But this is what I've basically tried to do. Um, I looked at the Heroic Games launcher uh, things. So it's saying to use the, like, basically just same as Lutris. I don't know really what that means. They say same as Lutris because all of the stuff that they say up here really apply to Lutris and not Heroic Games. I'm not 100% sure what they meant by that. Um, but then we have the to download Proton 5.13. Um, and they're saying to either build it from Valve, which is an entire process. And I, when I read the steps, it literally said, if you're not comfortable with command line, then that isn't for you. And I am not comfortable with that so then they said to download it via steam i do not know how to download it via steam because there's no actual link in steam's store to download specific versions of proton now i can go into steam and if i get everything set up it can show proton uh 5.13 but it actually does not boot the game so yeah, like here, like even I have, I've done a bunch of steps to get the game actually showing in my uh, library. So if I go to properties here, um, 
and I go to compatibility, I can see Proton 5.13 slash 6. And I'm not going to boot it through here. Well, I actually can try and boot it through there. And there you can already see, fail to launch Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. So that doesn't work, even though it says that it's supposed to work. And then when I tried, this is the other thing I tried to do. I have Ever Games Launcher actually installed on here. And if I go to Properties, Compatibility, Proton 5.13 slash 6, hit Play, Fail to Launch Epic Games Launcher. So that doesn't work. Even though that says it's the version of Proton that's supposed to work, it does not work. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Now, what the, this is the best that I was able to come up with. So when I got into Heroic Games Launcher, into my settings, I downloaded through the manager, I downloaded uh, different versions of Proton. Um, this was one that I saw, which is Proton GE 7-9. So this is the one that I installed and what the other thing I did was I said select an alternative EXE to run and this I'm just I'm selecting the um, I am selecting the executable manually now what I can do is go into see binaries yeah there's only one thing here in 64, so select that and install that there. Go back, hit play now. And if this works as it's been working, what's going to happen is I am going to get to the copyright screen and I'm just going to get stuck at a black screen and it's not gonna progress any further. So there we go, there's the copyright screen. There you go. Still stuck in a black screen, there's nothing really happening um, that's allowing me to progress any further. And that's really where I'm at. I can't press any keys. Nothing happens. I just got to Alt F4 to get out of the game. And that's where, that's really where I'm at. Um, I, I don't know what else to really do to get this working. Uh, here's the most recent. Proton GE 7-16. I can try that and see if this will work. But I'm pretty sure from the other times I've tried, I'm going to get the same results and it's not going to work. I'm just going to get stuck at a black screen. There it is, stuck at a black screen. I really can't go anywhere. And um, yeah, there's nothing really I can do with that. Just for the sake of curiosity, um, I want to go and try the other games. I do have 1.5 and 2.5 installed on my computer already. So those I installed through Epic Games running on this version of Proton. Uh, let's just stick with that. 
we'll stick with that. And then the other things that this one specifically needs to do is boot up the specific game. So we're going to do Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And actually, we're going to switch this to just regular Proton 7.9 and not the wine version. And we're going to see if this boots up. Alright, well, this one looks like it's booting. So Kingdom Hearts 2 will boot. Now the issue with this version, I believe, is... Um... Okay, so that, that I'm messing with the keyboard, or not the keyboard, the actual controller. So the only issue with this is that I cannot, oh, I have to change some things in the actual game files to make it completely run, but 1.5, or so this is loading with uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. So there's that, I just quit. But yeah, no, the issue is coming with Kingdom Hearts 3. I cannot get, Kingdom Hearts 3 to run for some reason and yeah I, I don't really know I don't really know what to do and I don't know if this helps or not so that's that's really all I have